Say rolling around, sitting on doves, can't my eyes high on shrubs. Hey guys, what's in topical Nate here with Strange Wang, and today we're reacting to the official trailer for <clears throat> Bahavish Joshi and your favorite word, superhero. No, <laughs> far from it. Graphic novel, Mumbai Pella superhero. <laughs> True. Moth smells like roses. Is it just me or is it weird watching trailers and movies and people aren't wearing a mask? Like he was wearing a mask, but not I didn't honestly I haven't even thought about it. It kind of throws me off. That trailer kind of threw me off. But it was a great trailer. I enjoyed what I saw on the screen until the second half of the trailer. That first half making fun of the superhero genre and poking fun at it and all that other stuff is great. But then all everything you made fun of, you just went and did. And it'd probably be good, like, I'll probably be really invested into the character. Yeah. Because of that first half of him and his friends. Mm -hmm. Will it hold that investment? Probably not. Will I still have investment in that character when he does turn into this superhero? Probably so. Which is good. And it's a new take on the superhero genre. So, it does have my curious curiosity to watch it. But it's not something I'm going to run to because I'm not a fan of superhero movies. Because the superhero always wins at the end. But with this, it has an unpredictability because I don't know anything about it. So, and it was making fun of the, the superhero genre, so it might, he might die. I don't know. But I want to watch it find out. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was pretty intrigued. I have, like, a few issues with it, but to talk about the parts that I loved, I definitely loved how, like, self-aware it was. Uh, I love that it poked fun at, like, existing properties already because, uh, like, that's enjoyable. That yeah, It just shows that, hey, like, we're aware that, you know, this is a thing. Poking is just fun in general. I like to poke Letitia. <laughs> nice. Uh, with a stick? <laughs> My meat stick. With a 49 and a half foot pole? My meat stick. Yikes. Anyways. Give her the old power driver. Yeah, I thought it was really good. Uh, you know, the stuff when they're still running around with bags is great. Super interesting. Just a little guy trying to do something, you yeah. know? Uh, obviously, shit hits the fan. It usually does in a movie at some point. But I still even like, like his little get up that he made after that. Uh, I was like initially a little turned off like you were when they saw they were making this switch. 
Uh, but like, I like his outfit. I like that he didn't necessarily have like superpowers. Well, yeah, I mean, he's still like for the for the most part a decently average guy. His only superpower that I noticed, which is an issue that I take with a lot of movies, regardless of what part of the country they're from, when they do this, is when your hero somehow goes from being a complete and total schmuck to just being a complete badass like that. It's like, like that's just like I understand the point of this isn't to be super realistic, but like what he trains for two weeks and now he could just kick all sorts of ass. You don't know that. Like, I don't know that and it might not be that way, but that's the way that the trailer portrayed it. And also considering the fact that the actor looks the exact same age as he did from the time before, then it's kind of hard to not just put two and two together and say, wow, he just learned how to do this really, really quick. And sometimes they shoehorn some sort of like mystical item that gave him these powers in there, which I, you really didn't need to do that. It was still recording. Now it's going to look funny when you're doing that. But continue. I'm the one who has to edit it. I'll figure it out. <laughs> I really hope that that's not what they do. Because uh, that's kind of lame when they just shoehorn this like mystical way that all of a sudden now he is can do all these things. Give me a montage. Let me know how many years have passed. Or day or months or whatever. You know. And I'm not saying that's not going to be in there. It might be. So we'll see. I, I am glad I watched this trailer, though, yeah. because it inspired me to go to my local bodega and grab a brown paper bag. Those do not exist here. And put it over your face with that design. I understand that after years of doing this, you are finally reaching the point where you cannot contain your jealousy of how much more attractive I am than you. So, you know, if it'll make you feel better, I'll put the bag with that face on. Do you have a passport? Three. Oh, good. Because that was a big ego trip just went on. Tell me what you thought about this down in the comment section below. Scroll back up. Hit the like button, please. We would appreciate it. And go ahead and subscribe. We would appreciate that very much. And then we can be big YouTubers and make an impact and not have to become superheroes. <laughs> Is that I it? Know, I don't know what else I was going to say.